All right, young scholars, while we're waiting for everybody else to show up, go ahead in today's folder and download this carwash.zip file. Right click it to extract it. So this way you have your car wash folder that you can now open and build within <clears throat> Android Studio. This is what we'll be working on and modifying during today's class session. <clears throat> so again, go ahead and download that carwash.zip and extract it so you have your folder that you can open right within Android Studio. So once you have that downloaded, extracted, and opened in Android Studio, go ahead and expand all the <clears throat> files that load while it's building on the left-hand side. And since I already have it open, I'm going to load it and run it to show you we've mentioned in previous classes a splash screen. We have one set up here within our MIP map. These images will pop up when you run the splash screen. So I'm going to go ahead and run. <clears throat> And you'll see that little image, that's a splash screen. That pops up before your actual app shows up. So all of the, whatever you set up in your splash screen is set up using your MIP map with your IC launchers. We talked about foreground and background. <clears throat> okay, so when you run this, you'll notice <clears throat> that is called car wash. 
It has a nice little logo image here. Car wash packages. Enter the number of washes. How many washes do you have? And then there's two options. Exterior only, which is just you're getting the outside of the car washed. Or exterior with interior, interior vacuum. You're getting the outside of the car washed, but they're also going to vacuum inside the car. And then if you buy 12 or more, or more than 12 washes, you'll get a discount. <clears throat> and then you would click the calculate package, and it would calculate the price for you. And below is just a random car wash image. So what we're going to do today is modify this to relate to haircuts. <clears throat> so the first thing we want to do is look inside our main activity file here. <clears throat> You'll notice all of our imports, we're using a radio button to select our choice. We're using toast to communicate back to the user. <clears throat> and we also have a button that we're using to calculate package. <clears throat> so right now we have it set up. <clears throat> to where if you're just doing the exterior cleaning, it's $10. <clears throat> but if you're doing it with 12, that discount, it drops it to $8. If you're doing both the external wash and the vacuuming inside the car is $15. If you do more than the 12 watches, it drops it down to $13. <clears throat> and I mentioned before that IC launcher in the MIP map <clears throat> showed that splash. <clears throat> so our little image here <clears throat> is that image that popped up initially <clears throat> and shows up next to the car wash there. So all of our <clears throat> TV weight, RB exterior, RB both, TV result, BT convert, tie into what we have here in our strings. <clears throat> so BT convert is that button that says calculate package. BT, short for button. <clears throat> RB, both, RB exterior, radio button. So then below, you notice we have a calculation. If just exterior is checked, first we're going to see if the input <clears throat> was greater than or equal to 12. If it is, we give them the discount. If it isn't, we don't give them the discount. And then the same thing for if both is checked. If they have greater than or equal to 12, they get the discount. Otherwise, no discount. <clears throat> and this toast is that warning or that display. Purchase more than 12 <clears throat> to get a discount. <clears throat> so then once you click that calculate button, the result spits out whatever your cost is. So for example, if you were to buy eight of the exterior packages, it would be $80. 
<clears throat> so our goal today, like I said, is to go ahead and modify this <clears throat> so that we are looking as if this is a barber app, hair cutting app. So what do we want to call this new app instead of car wash? Something related to getting your hair cut. Barber, hairdresser, what do we want to call it? Okay, hairstylists. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and change the name to hairstylists. Settings, we can keep the same. Instead of car wash packages, what do we want? Maybe style options. Cut choices. What do we want to call this? Pick your hairstyle or pick your cut. <clears throat> okay, pick your cut. Sounds good to me. And what do we want to set the discount at? 12 is a little high. Maybe like six. I guess you get a six discount because okay. you've come multiple times or you're a regular or something. Okay. <clears throat> Buy six cuts for a discount. And then that would be enter the number of cuts instead of... <clears throat> Enter the number of washes. <clears throat> so then we want to change. We have two options here. Exterior only, exterior with interior vacuum. Obviously, those don't apply to hairstyles. So I'm easy with my hairstyle. I'm just going to say buzz cut. But what could be another option Like shampoo and style, uh, shampoo and cut. What could they be the other option here? <clears throat> Don't some barbershop also give you like a um, face therapy or something? Like uh, wash your face and, you know, clean you up, I guess. Okay. Maybe like a <clears throat> what are we going to call that? Full. Oops. Full experience, let's say. <clears throat> Cut, shampoo, and facial plan. But then instead of calculate package, what are we going to call this? Um, cost for services. Okay. Calculate costs for service. <clears throat> and then our description for the car wash image, we could just say now hairstyle image. <clears throat> so if we go ahead 
and file and sync all of that up. <clears throat> right now, this is what our display looks like. Now that we go ahead and run, we should see these changes that we just made. Okay, pick your cut, enter the number of cuts, buzz cut, or full experience. Cut, shampoo, and facial cleanse. Buy six cuts for a discount. Calculate costs for services. <clears throat> oh, but we still have that car wash image. <clears throat> so within the drawable, we have that car wash image. So we can go out to the internet and let's just search for hairstylist, make it easy. And then under tools, you would select either creative or commercial for usage rights. So I'll use this nice generic image here. <clears throat> and I'll save it as hair. And then I go ahead and take that hair image and go into my car wash folder, go into the app folder, go into the SRC for source folder, go into the main folder, then the res folder. Then you check drawable first. Okay, it's not in drawable. So we put it in drawable V24. <clears throat> then when you go back into your app, that new hair image you have displayed comes up. <clears throat> So in order to fix that and make that now our hair display within the activity underscore main file, you'll see at drawable car wash. We go ahead and change that to whatever name you gave the image you download. Then we sync again so that everything is on the up and up. And then you run it again. Once you do so, now your image is there. But you'll notice we still have that weird looking car wash image there. Is because, as I indicated before, that IC launcher is set up with that image. So for now, we're going to leave it like that. It doesn't necessarily bother us. It's okay. But we now have to fix up 
our main activity file in order to match this. So with the car washes, it was 12. Now we have six. Plus a haircut might be a little more than that car wash. <clears throat> so we have to open our <clears throat> man activity. Now you could change the names of the variables to actually match our changes with the haircut. So for example, you could have int buzz cut, but for our purposes, we'll leave them as they are. <clears throat> so usually a buzz cut costs me about 13 bucks. So I'll put that there <clears throat> for our buzz cut. Now uh, a cut, shampoo, facial cleanse, that's obviously going to be quite a bit more. So <laughs> instead of 15, let's say it's going to be 32. They're going to take care of us. <clears throat> but if I'm getting a discount for six plus bus cuts, what could the discount be? Uh, I'm buying buzz cuts for the entire football team or the entire baseball team. Instead of $13, what could a, a discounted price be? Like uh, 15%. 15% off? So what would that be? Uh, 13 Times 15% is 195. So let's say $11, just to make it easy, since they're integers and not doubles. <clears throat> then would we give the same 15% for the full experience? If we do that, that would be $4.8 off. So let's say $27. <clears throat> but that just does our discount. That doesn't solve the calculation issue just yet. We scroll down, <clears throat> we have this setup where we're asking the user to input the number of washes. So we changed from six wa or uh, 12 washes to six haircuts, right? So now this greater than or equal to 12 becomes six for each of our functions. <clears throat> and now instead of purchase more than six for a discount, our display for each is going to want to show purchase more than six for a discount. Because if you purchase less than the discounted price, that text may pop up. Oh, you didn't get a discount. If you want a discount, here's how you get the discount. So then we would go ahead and sync that. <clears throat> Uh, 
and run it. <clears throat> So if we went ahead and we just got two buzz cuts, what would our cost be? It's going to be that two multiplied by this $13. So our result should be $26. And see, you have that toast, that message popped up. Purchase more than six for a discount. <clears throat> but why does it still say 26 for two washes? You scroll down the bottom, <clears throat> we still have it set up. <clears throat> Dollar sign plus cost plus four plus washes plus washes. So we could change that message instead of washes. <clears throat> we could just say cuts. So then if we go ahead and sync again. We go ahead and run it again. Now, if we were to put in the same two and calculate, it now says $26 for two cuts. Again, pops up that toast message. Hey, order more than six and get a discount. <clears throat> so if we were to go and order nine, I press calculate. It's now 99 for nine cuts. <clears throat> we drop down to that discounted price, 11. <clears throat> if we were to go and select that full experience with the nine and calculate, it'd be 243. It'd be that discounted $27 times nine. <clears throat> but you go into a hair salon and you have all these different options, right? <clears throat> so if we wanted to make multiple options here, we could change our first radio button to RB bus cut, then our second radio button to RBFE, and <clears throat> let's go ahead and make <clears throat> two more radio button options. So what do we want to call the first one? Maybe you just want to go in and, and get a nice shave, right? Get your goatee trimmed up. So we'll call this RB Shave. And then the text will be... <clears throat> let's say Razor Shave. Then we have another radio button we could create. <clears throat> Let's call this RB color. And we'll change that to have the text say color hair. <clears throat> Uh, 
Well, now we have to go into our activity main. And first, <clears throat> change our first button to match what we change it to in strings, RB buzz cut. <laughs> then instead of RB both, RB FE for that full experience. But we've created two more, RB shave and RB color. So for the text, first, we click the red text and change it to our proper string. The first one, RB bus cut. The second one, RB FE. So we could simply copy the code for that radio button. And then paste it twice. And the first one we would change <clears throat> that we've added to RB shave and then make sure that our text is also RB shave. And then the last one <clears throat> would be RB color. Then the text would have to be RB color. So then we go and sync that. <clears throat> and run. And we get an error message because we did not change in our main activity. Our RB exterior is now RB bus cut. And our RB both is now RB FE. <clears throat> We go ahead and sync and run. What do you think is going to happen? How many buttons are we going to have? Instead of the two, four. Due to our size, we are only seeing three of them. <clears throat> so if we go back into <clears throat> our main, our activity main, we could play around with the text. Size. So let's say instead of 20, we make them all 10 SP. And sync again, and hopefully they will all show up this time. <clears throat>
We still don't have them small enough text <clears throat> because of our image is taking up a great deal of room, but that's perfectly fine. <clears throat> the point is just to show you how to add additional radio buttons as you so choose. <clears throat> Excuse me. So right now, let's click razor shave and enter eight cuts. What happens when we calculate costs for services? It shows zero dollars. Zero dollars for eight cuts. Do you know why that is? Uh, that's because we didn't give it a price, right? Yep. Here in our main activity, it doesn't know what's going on, what's happening. If we do in shaves equals let's say fifteen dollars. What could the discount be if there's more than six shaves? Maybe $12? We would have to create <clears throat> an instance of the radio button. Final radio button shave equals find view by ID <clears throat> RB shave. Do you all see this if both is checked? We have one, two, <clears throat> three. We now have to copy that whole set of code. <clears throat> but instead of both, we call it shave, which is our new <clears throat> button we've created. So if shave is checked, <clears throat> cost equals washes times not both package, but shaves. <clears throat> And then for the else, instead of both not package, 
discount shapes. Then we file and sync. And hopefully I didn't spell anything wrong. <clears throat> Oops, I forgot a semicolon at the end of that new radio button we created. So it gave me an error. Just like Java, remember? You forget that semicolon at the end? It gives you a compilation error. <clears throat> so now when I put nine in for the razor shaves, what's the answer going to be? We set up our discounted price to be $12. So it should be nine times 12, yes? That right? Twelve times nine should be one oh eight. <clears throat> so we have to go back and look. <clears throat> What's wrong with our code here? It was greater than or equal to six. <clears throat> So how come it didn't give us the else? <clears throat> it just gave us the 15 times 9 how come <clears throat> Oh, I see it now, Professor. It's because we had the if set up wrong. In terms of the washes greater than or equal to six is the cost of equal to washes times shaves. When it should be the other way around. Very good. <clears throat> it gave us the full price because we have our variables in the wrong spot. So the first one <clears throat> should be our discount. The discount applies when there's more than six. So the first one <clears throat> should be 
discount shaves. <coughs> and a second one should just be shaves. Everybody see that difference? The discounted price is whenever we go greater than the six. The regular price is when we're under six. So we fix that. We go ahead and sync. <clears throat> we run again. Now, if we did nine razor cuts, it has the correct price. <clears throat> Let's say we wanted all four of those options to come up. <clears throat> We would then go in to our activity main. And delete our image view. Then we would go and sync. And now run. <clears throat> and our image should no longer be there at the bottom. Yep. So then we would have to continue to play around with the text view <clears throat> in order to get all of those <clears throat> specifics. On our screen, so. vertical. Right now it is at 645. So let's try 845. Sync that up. <clears throat> we run and it should move it down further down vertically. <clears throat> But we still only have four there, or three there, rather. <clears throat> so we have our radio button, RB color. that is not showing up. <clears throat> so within our vertical bias, within our radio group here, now let's change that vertical. Instead of 439, let's make it 639. And then when we sync again, it should list all four of those radio buttons we've created. <clears throat> it should have enough room for it. Uh, 
And I say should because we still might need to play around with that number a little. <clears throat> Nope, it just dropped it vertically. Okay. okay. So let's try 339. And then change our height from 153 to 203. And this is what you'll do within your app that you're creating for your group, is you're going to have to play around with these different parameters in order to get the displays to be where you want them to be. You may want to have that picture. You may not want to have a bunch of text. So now we run it. They're all there because we changed that height. However, we may want to change the vertical bias back down. Uh, yeah, 439 should work. <clears throat> And in doing so, ideally, all four of your options <clears throat> will now be easily selected right in the middle. Yep. So we have our buzz cut, our full experience, our razor shave, and our color hair. But right now, we select color hair. We do 12, let's say. And click Calculate Cost for Services. Nothing happens. It doesn't even give us the zero. It's because we need to set <laughs> our same setup within our main activity file. So we create a new radio button. Let's just call it color equals find view by ID R dot ID dot RB color. Same as we called it within our strings file. RB color, color hair. <clears throat> But above that, we need to set the price. <clears throat> so let's call it ink colors. How much does it cost to get your hair colored? From what I hear, it's it's pretty expensive. So let's say colors 60. <clears throat> then we have to create something that matches that for a discount. So the in colors discount, let's say instead of 60, it'll be 52. <clears throat> So now we have all of our variables now set up. 
but then we have to do the same thing with color that we did with shave. Create our new if else. <clears throat> so we'll copy that if shave. But now we have to change that shave to what we changed our radio button name to. So in this instance, color. So if color is checked, if that radio button is selected, if it's greater than six, it's going to be our Discount colors are cheaper option. Otherwise, it's just going to be our colors. And you see, discount colors is in red. That's because I called it above. Colors, discount. So anytime you have red text, it's basically telling you that an error exists. <clears throat> so we would go ahead and sync. And run. And now... I forgot a semicolon again at the end of that line. So it gave me a compilation error. So we'll try again. No errors this time <clears throat> because I had the correct syntax. So now all four of our options will work. So we enter, you know, we ask for nine people's hairs to be colored. Why is it not giving me the results? We put that, to, yes. <clears throat> so if we go back into our activity main, it appears as if our button is too far down to display our result. So if we change that 845 to let's say 745 now, let's check to see that that works. <clears throat> So now if we try nine hair colors, calculate, <clears throat> we still might have to move that button up a little because it has our partial display blocked out. Or yeah, let's just do it the easier way. Uh, instead of seven four five, we'll bump that up to six four five. We'll go ahead and sync. Then run again.
and now it's blocking the other. So let's make it six, nine, five. Then file sync. <clears throat> so again, this might be what you end up having to do with your own app that you're going to build, play around with the different views, see how everything looks. Is something covering over something else? Do we need to move it? Generally, you want to drop it vertically or move it up vertically. So we drop that down a little vertically. Now let's try again, you know, nine people want to get their hair color. Calculate, okay, now everything is in perfect position and looks to be the way we, we would like it. We could always move up the pick your cut if we so chose and put that image back down. But again, we would have to modify the vertical heights of our different viewing windows. <clears throat> So that is all I intended to cover today. As a reminder, <clears throat> homework five is due on Sunday night. A couple of you, it looks like, already did it. All you have to do is provide a response describing how you would monetize your app you create. I mentioned there could be in-app purchases. You could charge people to advertise within your app. In some instances, you might even allow them to pay in order to not have ads. Think of like YouTube. If you subscribe to YouTube and pay, it's ad free. But if you're just watching YouTube regularly, you know, every so often it might be a random, you know, 30 second ad that pops up. And usually after five seconds or so, you just click to skip through that. <clears throat> And as always, I will put the recording of the lesson up here for you to look back through in case we went too fast. But if there are no other questions. Would would I, would I put the price too? What's that? Would I put the price on the monetization? If you had the, let's say you wanted to sell your app for $9.99. You would explain, okay, yep, I'm going to sell it for $9.99, and here's my reasoning. Like, oh, I think, you know, that's a low enough price where people will buy it based on what I'm offering. A lot of times you've seen apps before, they're like $0.99, cents, $1.99. <clears throat> they're usually reasonably priced like that. You know, nobody's going to have an app that's 100 bucks. All right, so if there are no other questions, again, like I said, go ahead and do that homework assignment five by this weekend, and I will see everybody on Monday. All right, see you, sir. <clears throat>